it's super important that when you ask someone to, 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 to do what you want them to do, you must really believe in the ask. You must believe that this is good. You must, they must see that the, the way, not just verbally with what you're saying, they must see every ounce of being in bones in your body and your belief system and in your core, whether it's on the phone or face to face, that you believe all this. Hey guys, Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about something that I really had never talked about before, but I wanted to share this with you. And by the way, I'm gonna use some analogies. I'm gonna talk about maybe a certain industry and you can use this in any industry and this is the downsell. Okay, say so what is the downsell? Well, this is a way right here where when I make an offer that I think that someone needs to do and they say, oh, I can't afford that or I can't go with that. I don't care what industry you're in, what do you do next? Now, I want you to write this down right now. We are going to train. Number one, I want you to write this down, okay? You gotta keep rapport while you're making a down sell and you can never get aggressive, all right? I'm gonna give you three key topics that we're gonna talk about and I'm gonna go one, two, and three and you're gonna learn these and at the end of this, you're gonna learn how to down sell like a pro. But I wanna give you an example. So when I was in the automotive industry, okay? I'm gonna go back to my automotive time. There would be a car that someone would, would test drive, would say the fill of the will seals the deal, right? They would go on a test drive, they'd love the car and then I would ask them, hey, if I could get the deal 110% to your satisfaction, would you be happy to take it home? If I can get the deal right, you know, let's, let's rock and roll. It seemed like you love the vehicle, right? Let's go inside and we're gonna make everything work for you. Whatever it was, or some form of a trial close, we would go through those double set of doors, we'd walk into a table, I would set them down, I would ask them how they want their new car titled, I'd get the keys of their trade, I'd find out there's a credit application that needed to be involved because they had a payment on their old car, they'd have a payment on their new car. I would gather all this information so I could bring out what would be called a proposal right? A pencil, an offer, whatever you want to call it, okay? But I call, I call it a pencil because my manager would just pencil numbers on a piece of paper that he saw on his computer and then I would go out. And then when I was a general manager, I would write down a pencil, a numbers that I saw on the screen based on the car they were buying, the trade, the payoff, the interest rate, the term, how much money they had down. And I'd write all that down on a piece of paper. Some do it digitally, some actually write it down. I always preferred to write it. And then I would put it on a piece of paper and then they would take it out and the salesman would go show it to the client or I would go show it to the client. Does that make sense? Maybe work in a gym, right? And you show someone the, the offer. Maybe you work in a furniture place and you show someone the offer and it has financing or it has a cash offer. Everybody, maybe you work in solar, maybe you work in pest control, maybe you work in car, whatever. And whether it's face to face or whether it's on a phone, it doesn't matter. But I need you to understand the downsell. The downsell is when I make an offer, okay guys, great news. I'm going to automotive. Okay guys, great news. The sell price is going to be, you know, $39,900. Your trade is worth $19,000. Your payoff is 17,000, so that's gonna put 2,000 of equity from your trade. You're putting 3,500 cash down at financing it for 72 easy payments. Your payments are gonna be $497. Your first payment's gonna be due in 30 days. This is how we have your new vehicle titled. This will be the payoff on the bank that we're gonna be paying your car off so you no longer have any more payments within. And this will be your first payment due date right here. Guys, if this is how you want your new car titled, this will be all the numbers. We're gonna get your old all car paid off. Just go ahead and sign right here and I'll get your new car cleaned up for delivery. And then they would say something like, ah, oh, man, we can't afford a payment that high. And I'd say, okay, totally understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. And at that point, I may go into like maybe gas savings, things that like, well, I totally understand that like maybe your payment's a little lower now, but this new car is gonna have better savings on fuel. It's gonna have better savings on gas. So that's gonna save you money there. You probably didn't allocate that money. So even though you have a lower payment over here, you spend more on gas, even though this payment's a little higher, you're actually saving less in gas. If we were to ask your bank account, you know, like, can you afford this? It would say, yeah, absolutely. Because this payment's lower, but you spend more on gas. This payment's higher, but it's less and gas, really it's about the same in the end. Does that make sense, Mr. and Mrs. Customer? Now I'm down selling that, hey, this is totally affordable, but I haven't taken a price away. I haven't given anything away. I haven't done anything. I'm just rephrasing the deal. Does that make sense? I'm going over it. I'm selling, I'm closing. And But then let's say they say, well, Andy, you know, I I, I don't know. I, I, I see the numbers, but I, I still don't think I want to do it yet. Okay, I totally understand. Why don't I do this for you, okay? Obviously, you have a next payment coming up, it looks like here on the 7th, okay, on your vehicle that you're trading in today. Why don't we make it where you don't make that payment, and remember I said your first payment was gonna be due 30 days, right, on your new car? Why don't we do this? I'll go ahead and set it up, the 497, I'll keep all the numbers the same, 497 is gonna be the monthly payment, and I'll set your first payment due for 90 days. That's gonna give you three months, no payments. So here we go, 497, three months, no payments. If you'll sign here, I'm gonna get it approved by my manager. Guys, thank you so much for your business. Let me get that checked off.
We, we good? Does that sound fair? And by the way, I want you to write this down. Does that sound fair? Does that sound fair? That's, that's my saying. I always, everything I say says, does that sound fair? Does that sound fair? As long as I can get the, the first payment not due for 90 days, you don't have to pay next payment on your car. This is going to give you three payments or three months, no payments, right? At 497, if you'll sign here, I'll pay your old car off. Does that sound fair? Sign that. Let me go check with my boss and I'll be right back with you. Here you go. They say, dang, Andy, I don't know. We want to do it, but we're not quite sure. Okay. Why don't I do this? We're gonna, watch, watch this. I want you to see what I'm about to do. I'm gonna say, guys, we're gonna work this out. Remember what I said? I said, stay in rapport. Stay in rapport, never get aggressive. You gotta write this down. Stay in rapport, never get aggressive. Stay in rapport, never get aggressive. Watch this demeanor come out of me, okay? It's like, guys, don't worry about it. You guys are totally cool. You're some of the best customers I've ever had, ever had in my life. We're gonna build a relationship forever. I'm not gonna sell you this car. I'm gonna sell you this car and every car you buy for the rest of your life. We're gonna work this out. It's not a problem, okay? So why don't we do this, okay? So let's go ahead and write this down. First payment due, three months, okay? First payment due three months. Also, I wanna go, I, I believe because of the model of this car, we can probably go 84 months. So the payment's gonna be at 497. I'm just guessing if we took it out another 12 months, it's gonna put it around 447. It's gonna save us about 50 bucks a month. So why don't we do this? Payment 450 or under, okay? We'll say 440 to 450. Let's just write this down, 440 to 450 a month. No payments for 90 days. I'm not asking for any more money down, just 3,500 down. Whereas if that's good with you, if that sounds fair, let me go talk to my boss and I'll get that signed off. That just lowered your payment about 50 bucks a month. Does that sound fair? And they're like, Andy, I, I don't know. Okay, look, when you say you don't know, what it sounds to me like is something's concerning you within the numbers of the deal. Why don't we do this? We're at 447, 440 to 450. Okay, and I know that the payment's good with you. It looks to me that maybe the cash down, maybe you guys wanna keep that towards something else. I'm sure you have a lot of things going on in your life. Maybe there's a credit card you wanna pay off or something. Why don't we do this? I'll do no money out of pocket. Okay, so it's gonna be zero cash down, 440 to 450 a month, no payments for three months. I'll pay your car off in full, no more payments on your old car, all right? And then I'll do a full detail and a tank of gas on your new car. Does that sound fair? And I'll go to bat for you right now. Now, I want you to understand something, okay? When you keep asking and you keep asking with a good tonality, with a good, listen guys, I need you to understand that 9, 9%, 10% of communication is verbal. There's another 90% that has to do with my love, my body language, my energy, my posture, my belief, my certainty, our relationship, the rapport, all these things are other factors that determine whether this down sell, listen, have I touched the price yet? I haven't even touched the price yet. I can keep going. Let's keep going. They say, I don't know, Andy. I want to do it. And I'll say, guys, listen, we wouldn't be still having, still, uh, still sitting here having this conversation if you guys didn't love the vehicle, okay? You guys came in here today, and I'll do what's called a looping here real quick. I'm going to loop back. You came in here today. You said that you guys are having a new kid, that this vehicle that you have right now, it can't fit a car seat in, or you can't have another child in it. So we know that that car is not going to work. We know that the market is changing rapidly. We know that older vehicles, y'all cars has 79,000 miles. We know when it hits 80,000, your payoff's going to stay the same, but your car's going to be worth less. Right now, you got 2000 of equity in your car. At that point, there'll be no equity in your car. Your car is going to be worth less money. Matter of fact, you could have to pay to get out of your car because it could have dropped the value two or three, four thousand dollars because it'll roll 80,000 miles. The fact that we're trading it today, we're getting it just in the niche of time. Based on everything you guys said you wanted, you want something that sits higher off the ground, it's got better safety, it's got lower miles, it's got a better warranty, it's going to hold an extra kid. You guys are getting everything that you want. So I just looped back, right? And basically resold the whole fact that the reason why we're here is because this thing solves this big problem. Because sometimes when people get caught up in money, they forget about what they're really doing because the numbers take over. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so don't let the numbers take over, okay? So sometimes if you're in the middle of a no negotiation, loop out of the numbers back really quick, 45 seconds, why they came in, what we're all solving, why we're here now, and that will bring their mind right back to the point where, wow, this is fixing all of our problems. Yeah, these numbers do make sense. Because sometimes they just get, get caught in the numbers, okay? But now, I, I can continue to downsell. I can say, guys, does that sound fair? If I can get all of this done, we, we trade in your car, you have all of these things, you break the gate here today with this perfect vehicle, this is your payment, no money down, no payment for, for 90 days, and they're like, Gosh, Andy, we want to. I'm not sure. You know what? All right. That's it. You guys, <laughs> you guys are crazy. I love you guys. You're crazy. You guys are crazy. But I love you guys and we're family now. So here's what I'm going to do. 
I know that you guys have two kids. I know that we live in, I'm giving an example, Arizona, and I know that it gets 110 to 120 degrees. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask my boss to tint the windows on the whole vehicle, okay? Do you guys want the back or just the front two? Or do you want the back and the front two or just the back and leave the front two the same? Which would you prefer? See, that's a question, that, and it's a very tricky question because I just asked them, and if they commit to it, it means they're committing to this, okay? I'll say, guys, yeah, I'll say, you guys are crazy. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ask my boss if we can tent the entire vehicle, okay? It's gonna be lifetime tent from a guy that does a phenomenal job. By the way, the car looks super sporty. Imagine it with tinted windows. Woo, mama's gonna look good. So here's what we're gonna do. Would you guys rather just tint the back windows on it, or would you rather take the back windows and the front two? Which one, what, what, what would you guys rather do? You want the front two two or just the back ones, which one? Um, we would probably the whole car. Okay, all right. I love you guys, come here, give me your hand. Give me your hand. I, we're not, listen, you're not shaking my hand to the deal yet, but just give me your hand. Okay, I'm gonna make a deal with you right now. 90 days to your first payment, 440 to 450, no money down. I pay off your car, no payments for three months. I tint the windows, front two windows, all the back. Guys, when you drive out of here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you guys in the highest level. I'm gonna be here for you and your family. If you have a flat tire, if there's an issue to set your service drive appointment, you're gonna call me and I'm gonna take care of you. No one's gonna take care of you like I am. These cars are getting more expensive every single day. Your car's about to roll 70, uh, 80,000 miles. It's got 79,000 miles on it right now. One more thousand miles, it could be worth an additional $5,000 left. You guys have equity in your car today. It's the right It's the right time. Interest rates are great. The term is unbelievable. It's a simple interest loan. You can pay it off fast. You guys are getting an unbelievable car. You're getting an unbelievable deal, and you're buying it from someone who's unbelievable. It's gonna take good care of you guys. Can I earn your business if I can get all of this done? Now watch. Could I give more on their trade? Yeah. Could I offer less for the price of the car? Yeah. Could I go and I keep doing different things and run this 10 more times? Yeah, of course I can. I'm gonna ask you a question. Did, did I get up one time and go back to my manager? No. This is why it's so important that you must understand in a down sell, you, might, you must have to, to, to believe in yourself. You must believe in the customer. It's super important that when you ask someone to, 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 to do what you want them to do, you must really believe in the ask. You must believe that this is good. You must, they must see that the, the way, not just verbally with what you're saying, they must see every ounce of being in bones in your body and your belief system and in your core, whether it's on the phone or face to face, that you believe all this. You must be able to walk someone through a process to make sure that you can close every single deal every single time. Guys, I want you to understand this. There's lots of commodities in the world and sometimes things are just a little bit more affordable and then some things are a little bit more expensive. And I understand when something is expensive and someone says, I can't afford that. If you just go, well, let me show you the cheaper model. Well, then they're like, well, screw it. Even even if I had the money, I wouldn't do it because it sounds like you got commission breath, breath. You just told me how this was the greatest thing and now all of a sudden this is the greatest thing. You know, and then people feel like they're being sold and they feel like they're not being cared about anymore. So I downsell slowly on the same product they have to try to make that work. And by the way, that's the reason why the fact finding qualify and asking questions up front and selling them on the right product and pitching them on the right product is super important. That's why you must learn to be great at sales. Guys, if you've watched this video and there's a tactic, a, a trick, something that I taught you that has helped you become better during this video. What that means is that you're a student of selling, you're a student of the game of self-development. Self-development, I built a $160 million business last year. It's gonna be a $250 million business this year. I have 100 people on my sales team. I've built a culture that's unreal. I've learned the art of sales. I am one of the best in the world at the art of sales. I don't care what industry you're in. I train all industries. I love people. I'm fascinated with building underdogs to be the best in the world. I'm fascinated with giving people an edge on how to be the best. If you feel like some of the things that I've said during this video, you're like, man, I can relate with that. You know, that's, that's, that's what I like, that's what I love. This is point zero 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 one percent of what I have to bring to the table. I give this away for free so it can make you a better person. I have a very high level coaching program for business owners and for salespeople. Down below in the description boxes in, the, in this YouTube video, you're gonna see there's this little um, link. You can click on it and it says, see if you qualify for Andy's coachings here. You're gonna ask, there's, or there's eight questions that I kind of ask you to see and feel where you are as a person. And if you answer these eight questions that I feel like that you align with kind of my core values and beliefs, which are the same as yours, I would, uh, I would love to get on a call with you after 24 hours and develop a plan.
Okay, I know this, there's a play that you can run that literally will save you 10 years in your life and all the money you ever wanted to make and the empire you want to build and all these things can all happen. It can happen super fast because it's happened in my life. So um, I hope that during this video, I've taught you some things. It's made you a better person. It's going to help you go close more deals. I use the analogy of the automotive industry, but I really could have used any business from solar to pest control to roofing. I could have used any industry on down sales and how we do things. But I wanted you to understand that so you could run in your head, what does your business look like? And think what would those things look like that you could offer or that you could communicate with, okay? So I love you guys. And remember, if you feel like you want to go to the next level with coaching, if you qualify, there's a link below. And if you do, you'll know because I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Make sure your name is filled out right, your email, and your phone number. I love you guys. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next video.